I'm Dustin with Rocky Mountain ATV MC, and today I'll be showing you how to change out the engine oil and filters on the Husqvarna 701 Enduro. Keeping up on your oil changes not only helps you to keep your bike in great shape, but it also helps to prevent the potential for future problems down the road. Now Husqvarna recommends that we are changing out the engine oil and filters at the first 620 miles and then every 6,200 miles thereafter. So today we'll be showing you how to change out the engine oil, engine oil filters, and clean the oil screens on the Husqvarna 701 Enduro. Now keep in mind that these same exact steps can also be applied to the Husqvarna 701 Supermoto. For this job, you will need some replacement oil and filters. For today, we'll be using the OEM filter kit that will come with all the filters and O-rings that are required to do the oil change. Now keep in mind that we do offer other oil change kits on our website, so be sure to check those out. And as always, before performing any work on your bike, always be sure to reference your service manual for safety information, proper procedures, and torque specs. We're going to start by removing the engine guard or skid plate. Then we can start the bike and warm the engine. Place a drain pan underneath the engine, clean around the oil fill plug with contact cleaner in a rag, then you can remove it. Remove the oil drain plug below the foot shifter. Remove the screw plug that is next to the drain plug with the oil screen and O-rings. Remove the oil screen from the screw plug. The oil screens are reusable if you didn't purchase replacements. Just make sure to clean them up really well and make sure that your O-rings are in good shape. Be sure to clean the magnetic drain plug with some contact cleaner. Remove the oil filter cover on the left side of the bike below the head pipe. Then remove the oil filter. Remove oil filter cover on the right side of the bike. Then remove the oil filter. Remove the screw plug on the bottom of the front side of the engine and remove the oil screen. Again, you can reuse this screen. Just make sure to clean it up really well with some contact cleaner. For this service, we will be installing new oil screens. Once oil has completely drained, install the oil screens. Push the oil screen all the way into the engine's case. Then mount and tighten the screw plugs with new O-rings. You will torque these to 11.1 foot-pounds. Repeat this process for the other oil screen and screw plug. Inspect and or replace oil filter cover O-rings. Next, insert new oil filters into the engine. Keep in mind that the oil filters are different lengths. The longer oil filter will be inserted into the left side of the engine, and the shorter one will be inserted into the right side of the engine. Install oil filter covers and torque them to 4.4 foot-pounds. Next, install the drain plug with a new crush washer and torque to 14.8 foot-pounds. Then we can add 1.8 quarts of engine oil to the engine and watch the sight glass with the bike in an upright and level position. When oil reaches the center of the sight glass, stop filling. Reinstall the fill plug, then start the engine and let it idle for a couple of minutes. Turn the engine off, wait one minute, then check the engine oil level with the bike in an upright, level position. Add or remove oil as necessary. Then clean off any residual oil from the engine. Lastly, we can reinstall the engine guard or skid plate. All right, and that's all there is to it. Now, keeping up on your engine oil and filter will definitely help you to keep your bike in great shape. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more, make sure to hit the like button, then subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product spotlights, how-tos, and top fives. I'm Dustin with Rocky Mountain. Thanks for watching, and keep the wrenches turning.